Hey, One Empire here. Today, I'm going to show you a video on how to purchase the accelerator token on the Ether Delta Exchange. First of all, this assumes that you are familiar with Accelerator at least a little bit to the point that you want to buy some and you've signed up with them and have an account going. You've also signed up with my Ether wallet and have a, you know, have some Ether and or um, some Accelerator token in there. Also assumes that you've set up the MetaMask uh, browser extension in Chrome and you've associated your wallets or created a, even a wallet within there and um, you've also associated Ether Delta using your private key. So when you sign up for Ether Delta, you'll go through you and it'll set you up and you'll have a private and a public key. Make sure you keep that private key private and have it copied so that you can put it into uh, MetaMask. And once you do, it'll have all your balances loaded up here because MetaMask kind of combines it all and makes it work. So what you want to do as you can see, your wallet is representative of the MetaMask, your your my Ether wallet. So I've got 0.001 in there because it's all been transferred and deposited into Ether Delta as a smart contract. So if I were to do the rest of my Ether, I'll just type in 0.001 and deposit. And uh, after a couple minutes, just give it a refresh, and then it should all show up here in the Ether Delta. So now this is a list of all the sell orders. People are trying to sell ACC for Ethereum. This guy wants to sell 21.908 ACC tokens for 0 0.037 um, Ether. And you can click to buy if you want to do that. Or if you're trying to sell ACC, which is what we're trying to do, we want to look at this list. This top person has the best price and is most likely to um, to buy their ACC and the person here is the most likely to sell based on their best price so what I'm gonna try is 495 and looking at this point zero one zero point one zero 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 one sorry oh eight that takes me over. So we'll go 0 0.00105. One, two, and see if it'll allow, allow me to file that. So 0.52 on Ether, which is what I'm going to try and buy 495 with. So MetaMask will pop up here and it'll show you that this is what's going on and you go ahead and hit sign and I've sent the work order so what will happen is it'll show up here and it'll be highlighted somewhere in whatever ranking it is once it's gone through we'll do a refresh and, and see if that works so while it's refreshing once it does go through you can exchange it back to your wallet and when you have the MetaMask it makes it a lot easier to do. So once it's loading we can see what we're looking at. So my 0.521 looks like it's still in Ether Delta so no one's taken my order yet but let's see if it's showed up here. Let's see, five 495 there it is so I'm um, at the top three so I should have a pretty decent chance especially if the price of the coin goes up if it goes down then these will probably never never get bought um, because it's no one wants to sell at a bad price so that's kinda how it works and the other part of this video was talking about the MetaMask. So I'll go ahead and click MetaMask. My computer's running slow right now. So what it is is, like I said, this is my Ether wallet. It shows that I have 
0.000822 ether in here in this particular one. And if you go to tokens, uh, well, don't worry about the tokens. And it's nice because it converts you to US dollars based on the current price. Um, and you click here and you've got all of these accounts. Account 1 and account 4 are, are wallets that are created within MetaMask. That's why it shows loose for my Ether wallet, Ether Delta, and my other Ether wallet because I imported the private keys right into here. And what you do if you want to do that is you hit um, go down here all the way down to import account. If you want to create a new wallet, you can just click create account and it'll be a wallet within MetaMask. Import account though, you just click select type, select the type and import the file or just copy and paste your private key and hit import. It'll instantly show up right here as a, an, an account and you can rename it. So account one, hit edit, we'll call this empty one, empty wallet, save, and now it's called empty wallet. <clears throat> and so you can view the account on Etherscan, you can change the settings if you prefer another one besides Etherscan, and you can generate a QR code, copy address, and you can even export your private key. So it lets you do all kinds of cool stuff right within here. And the nice thing is if you go into my Ether wallet over here, it shows, this is my old one that was used for other videos, but what you do is if you go to send normally, if you didn't have a, you know, any of this cool stuff, you'd copy your private key and paste it in here, which is kind of, if you have a, a bug or a virus that has like a screen capture or something, this is totally not very um, uh, secure. Obviously, if you have a ledger or a treasure or something, that would be good. But for MetaMask, all you do is you click connect to MetaMask, assuming that you've already done this, and you just click that and it automatically takes you in there. Now the, the one issue is you got to make sure that you're logged in to the right, um, uh, come on, pop up, into the right account because if you're not then it will have some, some problems generating, well not generating but executing a transaction. So I want to make sure I'm in my old wallet because if I go into my other one this is the wrong one I'm essentially signed in here you know you can send uh, to you know I don't have any money in here any any balance but if you had a balance you could try and send it here hit generate transaction and when you went to to verify it it would say it would give you an error saying that the uh, the plugin or the add-on isn't working and that means more than likely that you've selected the wrong address for that wallet. And so it's kind of a nice safety feature, I think, um, in uh, MetaMask. My computer's running really slow because of the, the screen recorder, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording right now. And if you have any questions, like, um, uh, well, yeah, like and subscribe, but comment below. Thanks for watching. One